Hey all Turtle here coming at you with another Pokemon video. Today we're going to be opening up a Burning Shadows ETB. Uh, as far as bubbles going on, as far as like PSA cards, you know, one thing that might be in a bubble is the Burning Shadows Charizard. The last one I saw sold on May 18th was over $1,200 for a PSA 10 and these things every couple of months I find on Troll and Toad, on Amazon, on some other website that you can pick these up for $20 a pop. So clearly this thing is still printed every once in a while and for a card in this set to be worth that much is still, you know, that, that doesn't really make sense to me. So we'll see if we can find one. It's going to be pretty tough, but we'll give it our shot, our best shot. But we do have some stuff as far as our recent, most recent pickups. We got some, all right, just one seal thing and it is a Rebel Clash. Uh, case of build and battle boxes at this point. I kind of like just having a sealed case in my collection um, Can't say I've ever planned on opening it or anything like that I don't even think the pre-release promos were that good, but just something to have in our sealed collection and uh, You know given this weird all the price spikes going on We're just trying to do some different things as far as what we pick up and we're just trying to fill finish up some binder collection So here we have a random smattering and uh, what well, basically what I'm looking for on eBay is more like people's collections and just pick up their collections and uh, just to add to mine. So here we have some vintage stuff, a Jim Challenge, Giovanni's Persian, and then we have uh, the Southern Islands. No, actually these are the first ones I have from that set. We got a random e-reader, Dragonite, uh, this one's not in hollow so I'm not sure that will even make a binder collection. Uh, Legendary Collection, uh, definitely have a lot to pick up in this. I don't think we'll be able to get a whole reverse set, but we'll give it a shot. Base set 2, something I'm working on right now. Clefable, Chansey, Niddle Queen, Polyrath. Base set 2, guys. If there is a set that, in my opinion, given how old it is, is super underrated, it would be base set 2. Will it ever get its day, you know, day of glory where the price spikes? I'm not sure. This Dragonite is just non hollow. Then we got some fossil stuff Clefable, Pidget. Kangaskhan, none of these things, most of these cards probably aren't even worth sending to PSA. Again, just to finish up some binder collections, and this was just, all right, this card I am really excited about, the, the Typhlosion 17, I some Pratt did a video about this, I guess like the first edition PSA 10 sold for like, you know, record prices all of a sudden. This one's unlimited, but again, figure this would be tough to finish the binder collection, so we'll pick it up now. Celebi, yeah, we got some Neo stuff, Houndor, I like this art. Magnemite, it's kind of strange that this Magnemite is a foil. And then that Mew promo, I believe this is from the movie. And then we got some other cards. Uh, a couple base base set, we got a Mewtwo, Polyrath, and a Nidoking to round things up. And lastly, for our recent pickups, we got some new PSA cards, all PSA 10. Now these are nothing like, I don't even know if these will ever be um, desirable, but we got some random stuff. This is from Triumphant. Uh, the hollow, you know, these are just like the regular hollows and this time I think triumph this was like had like the primes and stuff So the way I kind of look at it is all right if I did want to finish this set and Let's say I could pick it up off TCG play right now for like I don't know three four dollars something like that And then I have to take a chance at getting the PSA 10 and I feel like that's what makes this worth it So, you know considering the price let's say four dollars shipped and then you have to send the PSA, which even for the quarterly special is like $7. So, you know, that's like 10 for a chance of a 10. And I'll pay a little bit more, not much. I think the, all these were like under $20. To guarantee the 10, I think it's very much worth it. Just to have in my collection. And the last one, I am working on this set. The Sky Ridge. You know, this one is reversed, but we got the Fortress Gem Mint 10. So if, I would say this is the card I'm most excited about to add to our collection. I'm trying to get all those early e-readers. Uh, PSA graded. All right, so that's it for our new stuff going into the collection. Now let's open up that ETB. All right, eight packs of Burning Shadows. Um, at this point, I've made a few purchases of like a like a number of ETBs, so I'm not sure if this was the print run where like the cards were in terrible condition. So we did pull a Rainbow Charizard once out of those ETBs, but the Charizard was in such bad condition. There was a lot of edge wear on the back that I'm not even sure it would get like a seven. I, I feel like at best it was a seven. I don't think it would get the eight. Uh, so I was very disappointed. Hopefully these are from the better batch. But let's get into our first pack. Ace Roll, a very good card. Horsey, 
Venipede, Sneasel, Crub Brawler, Ralts, Porygon, and then a Bruxish. So this is has become a set where it's kind of like basically the lottery. There's sure there's Ace Roll, there's Guzma, but then it's just the Charizard, and there's not even the full art. The full art is was a promo, so you just have the regular GX and the Rainbow. So pretty tough set to pull on. And as you can see, at least these ones are super off center. Hopefully we get at least one hit and we can kind of see what the condition is. As far as like, you know, what sheets were damaged and stuff like that. Our next reverse is a Riolu and then a Mudsdale. So, or, but this is just the like non hollows. Uh, but so far I don't see any edge wear of any of the cards, which is a good sign. All right, can we hit that home run Charizard? As always guys, if you do enjoy the content, do me a favor, hit that like button. And if you're not subbed already, that's probably the easiest way to support the channel. In addition to that, there are things like Patreon. If you are interested in checking out the details for Patreon, there's a link down below in the description. All right, this is the halfway mark. So far, nothing too good. I think I might've saw something from, all right, let's take a look. Cause from the side, it did look like this was a hit and the back looks good all right let's see what we got can we find that jackpot charizard <clears throat> rolls and as far as my burning shadows like binder collection it's coming along pretty well because if we keep opening these etbs all right here we go guys we got a oh it was a rainbow it is super off center like you can see this border is pretty thick and then there's like a non-existent board on this side so super off center and this is what concerns me about getting a 10 so maybe that 1200 price is not too crazy as far as getting new 10s because this is not too off center but then you look at this side it is pretty bad it's even like at an angle so sometimes it seems like the centering is not consistent on the front and back which is concerning but we did get our rainbow rare salazzle i'm trying to think we might already have salazzle in our binder collection but hey, anytime you open up ETB and you get a secret rare, that is a win in my book. Ooh, when I saw that rainbow, I thought we had it. All right, secret rare out of ETB. Still got four packs to go. Here we go. And once again, I wanna thank everybody for the support on this channel. Recently crossed 1,000 subs. And uh, just because we've been doing some giveaways, I wanna give the bit of a cool down in the giveaway before we do our big 1,000 sub one. And I do wanna do something big. I'm thinking either some kind of ETB or booster box giveaway, and it might even be Hidden Fate. So, because like, as crazy as it sounds, a Hidden Fates ETB goes for more on eBay than most recent, most modern booster boxes. So stay tuned for that. And I mentioned a bunch of times I do want to do a Q&A as well. All right. Can we get anything else? Sandy Gas, Caterpie, Lediba, a Duskull, and then a Malamar. Okay, so the, the biggest takeaway is this wave of ETBs. Although I'm not sure, like, I have a bunch of other ones. It's kind of hard to tell which one's which. Does have good condition rainbow rares. So we don't have to have that super bittersweet moment of pulling a damaged rainbow rare Charizard. Disgusting Pollen, pretty cool attack. If, you're, if this is your active, your opponent's opponent's basic Pokemon can attack. You know, when it comes to all these super strong tag teams and stuff, and uh, so it's Burning Shadow, so at this point expanded, so these decks can be super annoying, where, look, you don't evolve, so you can't attack. All right, guys, last pack. It would be amazing if we got another hit. Guzma, put it off to the side. Hoot Hoot. Meryl, Porygon, another Meryl for our reverse, and our last pack has just a Crabominable. So that's going to be it for this opening. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, reminder, if you want to support the channel, just simply like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.